Hi, I present to you a red button of attention, so you get intrigued a little bit and hear my bullshit about what's going on. So before I press it, I just want to say that I was taking a look at my most popular videos I've ever made while trying to decide which one I should milk more for my next upload. And what I noticed was the video where I combine different CSGO weapons and out comes Snoop Dogg, Popkiff, the big black Glock, and the one where I feature how different countries rush B. We're up there, even though these are completely different series, they're equally viewed. So I thought, why not combine these two videos and make a completely new one, and call it If Countries Made CSGO Weapons. That's what I did, and here we are. I present to you... Weapon Mixer 10,000. Eco again? I don't think so. <laughs> Open that. It's on the house. Whoa. You can have the chest of gems every time you level up. Meanwhile, some crash? <laughs> what? Oh, there's more. Claim the throne by becoming the king of the hill. How about we try some high low? I call high. Just as expected. <laughs> you can always play some good old Monopoly. Or maybe you'd like some slots. We got that too. Go to Claim Affiliate Reward and type in the code LICH to get a free spin. All that and many more only on Gamdom.com Welcome back. So, this is a completely new design. How it used to work is I would take any weapons from this panel, I would combine them with a button, and from this table out would come a single weapon that had the components of all the weapons I chose. But now there's two additional panels. Here under all these question marks are the flags of countries. I will choose five of these random and totally not predetermined cards that will reveal the flags, and that's the countries we're gonna be featuring in this video. Alright, let's start from the top. There we go. Let's choose one on the right. Maybe one underneath that, uh, one on the left, and one on the bottom right here. Alright, that's it. So in this video, we're gonna be featuring Canada, US, Italy, Germany, and Russia. So I will choose the weapons, then I will choose the flags, and we also have this additional panel, where I can place any item I want, anything I can think of. I will choose that too, and the weapon will have that item integrated in it somehow. So enough bullshit. Let's do this. All right, let's start this off with um, Germany. Now, Germany is known for its punctuality and precision engineering. So we need something precise, like the op, and maybe add in a revolver there. Now, on the side panel, I have placed Stillhandgranate, some boot-shaped beer, some sausages, and some more beer. Because you can never go wrong with more beer. Now we combine all of those with this button, and out comes... F-U-H-R-R-2 F-U-H-R-R-2 A.K.A. The Führer 2 Is the new iteration in the Führer series Unlike the first one, this one doesn't have the self-destruct button anymore It has a lot of parts and it looks confusing, but trust me, it's not Let me explain First thing that pops up probably when looking at this weapon is the upwards pointing hand on the right side of the weapon. Now for someone who is in their 20s and up, probably knows what this hand gesture means. But if you are very young, let me explain. It's a magazine capacity indicator. Whenever the magazine is fully loaded, the hand will go up like that, like it is now. But when you shoot the bullets and the magazine slowly depletes, the hand will go down, 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 down until it hits the bottom. But when you reload, Boom! It goes straight. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I killing my shadow? Some more features. It has a grenade launcher, but instead of grenades, you shoot some really tasty German sausages. Now you and the enemies might be thinking, oh, it's just sausages. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> oh god, I hate my <laughs> Also, on the left side of the weapon you can see the satellite navigation, so you can navigate and locate your enemies using modern technologies. 
It's still in early access though, uh, currently it can only show you uh, directions to uh, to Poland, but, uh, but it's said to have regular updates and uh, they hope to expand uh, to cover the whole world so you can uh, navigate anywhere. Lastly, this whole thing is powered by beer, which you kinda have to carry on the back, but also a little quirk and a feature of this weapon is that on the inside there it comes with a little packets of, of juice. I don't know why. Some say that the designer of the first version of this weapon talked about juice a lot, so I guess that they decided to include it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Alright, for the next country, let's choose Russia. And for the Russia, it has to be obviously an AK 47 alongside with a P90. And for the additional items, I chose a huge speaker, a bottle of vodka, and the symbol of communism. Alright, so we come over here, we press the combine button, and out comes KGBB. -B. KGBB. Kinetically generated bus boosting device. More you shoot, louder the hard bus gets. Obviously, the main component of this weapon is an AK 47, but it also has two vicious P90s on the side. At the front you see the combination of huge speakers that radiate loud hard bass towards the enemy. Westerners virgin ears cannot take this much hard bass without getting discombobulated. After that they just, you just shoot them. At least the last thing they'll be hearing before death will be hard bass, so quite a graceful death. Other components of this weapon. The whole thing is powered by vodka, obviously. At the front it's a vicious weapon, but in the back you kind of have a nice monitoring station. It has a 24-7 working surveillance antenna on the top, so you can locate your enemies. Your teammates. The families of your enemies. The families of your teammates. And all these lists of people you can torture to gain information is right here on this computer. It also has this huge red button in the middle. It's called Send to Gulag button. Mostly works for your teammates though, so if your teammate has done something wrong, you point the weapon at him, press send to gulag button, and within a matter of seconds, Joseph Stalin himself will parachute down, grab him, and take him to gulag with the same day delivery. F*** you Amazon Prime. So as you can see, we observe our teammate being all suspicious and treacherous around here. So you point the weapon at him, press the button, now we just wait. Oh, there it is. You see? You see him flying? You see that? <laughs> if you are high right now, please turn this off. <laughs> but this is not an easy weapon to operate this, you know? You go on a mission, bursting through a door, you see a bunch of enemies, you pull the trigger, shoot, 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 drink some vodka, shoot, hack a US election, hard bass, torture people, send people to gulag. <sighs> it's exhausting. <laughs> All right, for the next country, let's go with Italy. Now, for the Italy, let's make something bigger. Let's make a big boy for the Italy. Let's choose Negev, and let's choose something with a faster fire rate. So, P90. And for an added flare, let's add in a Deagle. All right, that's it for the weapons. Now, for the additional items, I have chosen the classic. Spaghetti, some penne pasta, and the pizza. That's it, now we combine all of these, and out comes... Basta la vista. Ah, basta la vista. Now this is a big boy. It's a pretty heavy weapon. That's why you see how firmly he's holding it with his hands. No! No! Okay, Alberto, enough is enough. I have milked the living f*** out of that joke. Enough is enough. Let's start with the construction. This weapon is all about ergonomics. No one has thought of using a barrel of a minigun as a pasta eating utility? Come on. You attach forks around the end of the barrel. In the middle you have the sauce. It spins automatically. Picks up pasta in a perfect shape. Meanwhile, it applies the perfect amount of sauce and, th and then you eat it. It's beyond genius. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is not ketchup, okay? This was the only item model I could find. I would not dare calling this ketchup and insulting the whole nation of Italy like that, okay? Pro tip, D don't, don't mention Italians and ketchup together. Also, there's two deagles attached to the pasta la vista on the top using spaghetti. 
It scans and shoots automatically at the enemies. It will protect you at all times. It has a very fluid motion. I mean, take a look at it. It can switch sides instantly. You see that? How awesome is that? <laughs> also, instead of bullets, penne pasta. It has a perfect shape to replace a bullet. Aerodynamic can cause a lot of damage, especially if the enemy is gluten free. And also, it's penne rigate, okay? It has grooves, it has ridges. I would not dare put that disgusting, smooth penne lisce in here, okay? Italians, I got you. Wow, it's spinning so fast. Is that Vettel driving a new F1 Ferrari car? You're not gonna... You're not gonna do it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm a Ferrari fan too. <laughs> Alright, for the next country, let's go with Canada. Now, for Canada, let's make something even bigger. Because we all know how... f***ing huge those mooses are. So we choose the weapons. And for the additional items, I have chosen two very simple ones. A hockey stick and a snowball. Now we come over here and combine all of these weapons. And now you're probably thinking I'm gonna do some stereotypical sorry, oh, I am sorry joke. No. Canadians, I won't do that to you. Say hello to S0RR3. An absolute pinnacle of human engineering, armored to the teeth, equipped with the latest Snowblaster 2000. Now you're probably asking, isn't this the same vehicle we saw in the Call of Duty? Yes. I, they, I, met a, I had a deal with them. Okay, and for your pleasure, only today, we're gonna be testing this weapon on a live subject. So you can see the immense power it can deliver. Two, one. What? What? Quite an unexpected turn of events. But fuck it, this looks fun. I want to play too, man. <gasps> oh, Canada. Our home and native land. All right, and last but not least is gonna be U.S. And for the U.S., uh, we gotta choose weapons that just scream America. So it's gonna be both M4s. Add in an Uzi there and um, a Deagle. All right, and for the additional items, I have chosen quite a lot, as you can see. And the first item is a Diet Coke. And what's a Diet Coke without a juicy hamburger? Nice and not fresh, uh, a cowboy hat, a Lincoln's beard, <laughs> definitely a bald eagle, declaration of independence, and Elon Musk's son. Now we combine all of these items and now we wait. We wait for something spectacular to come out of the machine and it's gonna be... Holy shit! Iron Man! Holy oh, shit, this is fucking crazy! Oh, oh, oh. Um... Did he just steal your... Oil? He just stole your oil, didn't he? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> How the f did I end up here, man? <laughs>